Hello my good friends, this is Chaos Angel here, also known as Lord of Omni, and I'm back at it again with another flippin' reaction for you with this freaking bed hair of mine. Oh my god, I need a flippin' haircut, but I've been trying my best in order to actually pick it and uh, keeping it shaped and all that other stuff. Is it looking good? I don't know. Anyway, other than, other than my hair, which doesn't really matter in the long run, Kingdom Hearts. Yes, yes, we got brand news, brand new news, and all that good nonsense in the woodworks that is Square Enix, and just in good time. Um, I've actually been highly anticipating some some brand new stuff from Square on the Kingdom Hearts uh, debacle of things because of a lot of leaks just showing up everywhere and whatnot yeah and a lot of leaks everywhere in different uh, departments of you know, video games and companies and what have you now I'm just rant, rant, rambling at this point back to the point <clears throat> whole entire deal with uh Dark Road. I don't really care for it. I don't care for it other than the lore. And we're just going to go about it like that. Now, Melody of Memories, however, piqued my interest when I heard about the leak uh, pretty much a couple of hours, if not that, a day ago. And I don't know. Maybe with this trailer, it says Kingdom Hearts 2020, so that could pretty much fall in line with the fact that Tetsuya Nomura pretty much said it himself that, uh, the, well, their department, as well as many teams, are simultaneously working on a number of games. So, you never really know. We might actually see something from this trailer that they have for us that may have an inkling of what that leak was all about. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and check this shit out. Ooh, look at that pristine art. All of the Kingdom Hearts. Yep. And I'm loving the presentation of this intro right here. I'm liking where this is going. What we got going on here in 2020? World of Tress. Ah, Union Cross. Okay. Again, guys, mostly into the lore. I can't, I, I pretty much completely stopped playing the mobile version. So, I mainly just find myself watching any tidbits of the translated uh, news, so on and so forth. Still enjoyed the music, though. Music very beautiful. Absolutely love it. Why did he become the Seeker of Darkness? <laughs> Oh, hello. Dark Road. Oh, yo, that's that's picture perfect right there. I love that. Wow, this is different. We're actually getting to see the uh, new characters. Seeing some in-game stuff. I don't really know... 
like if this if this is for free then i'll try it out i'll just try it out and then go from there that is literally from the same cutscene in Kingdom Hearts uh, 3D. Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Well, not exactly the same cutscene, but it's building off of that cutscene from Dream Drop Distance. I'm actually kind of surprised. Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack. So I, oh, they must be releasing the actual soundtrack um, soon. Yo, that's actually good news. That is actually good news. I like that. Kingdom Hearts series first rhythm action game is coming. Oh, oh. This must be a melody of uh, memory. It's th actually 3D. Yo, I thought this was gonna be a phone game. This actually is freaking clean. I don't know why for some strange apparent reason I thought it was going to be the same thing as uh, the Final Fantasy uh, I am completely forgetting about the name. What, uh... Man, this probably took my tongue, but for some reason I can't even, it can't even come out correctly. Right Holy shit, man, this is actually looking really good! Well, there we go! Melody of... Oh, fuck. I am lost. Oh, well, there's uh, HMK's reaction. I am lost. Okay, so what in the world did I just witness? That was, was that mute? Was that melody of memory? I am so confused. Is that from Memory of Melody? Because as far as the game itself, it's not using the actual graphics of, what was it? It's not actually using the graphics of Kingdom Hearts 3 whatsoever. Like, that is still the same graphics and whatnot. Like, what, 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 what is going on here? I am so lost right now. Like, really, I am so lost right now. But it's just like, Melody of Memories is apparently a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Which makes sense, because it's like, it can actually take that. It, it, it can take those graphics of uh, Melodies of Memories. But... Melodies of memory, not melodies of memories. But wow, 
I was not expecting this to be in 3D. I was I was wholly expecting this. I was wholly expecting, and I don't know why or what I wasn't able to get this. It was literally at the tip of my tongue because I was thinking theater, but I couldn't think of the actual word itself. But theaterum, uh, Final Fantasy. I was wholly expecting like the graphics to be similar to that, like especially what from what they showed us before they even showed us the gameplay. Like they showed Sora, Donald, and Goofy looking the same as the freaking theorum theater, um, characters and i wholly expected the game to be like that from the leaks even though technically speaking we didn't exactly get an inkling of what that would be but many speculated that that was going to be the case because many were expecting or speculating that it was going to be a rhythm game and here we go we got a rhythm game and Honestly, I was wholly expecting something like this to happen sooner or later. It was going to happen, guys. It was so going to happen. And honestly, I dig it. But my only question is, is what in the world was going on with what happened after the fact? We had freaking stuff that was going on after the story of freaking, uh, what was it? Kingdom Hearts. Wow, I am just losing my train of thought. I am tired of shit. Kingdom Height on um, Kingdom Hearts Remine and all that other stuff. Like now, technically speaking, I can't really say much. All I can say is that from what I remember from the stream that I had for Kingdom Hearts Remine and Limit Cut, if I remember correctly, uh, yes, all I remember is pretty much what we know at the very end of kingdom hearts kingdom hearts 3 remind and not exactly limit cut and the reason for that is is that i've kind of been procrastinating on defeating the rest of the organization yeah i still haven't beat them yet and i still haven't actually seen the true ending i'm sorry yeah, I have heavily been um, procrastinating on trying to catch up and, like, defeat the rest of the organization. I haven't even defeated Young Zen, or I am actually been trying to, at the very least, do my best in going in sort of chronological order, so to speak, if that makes sense. Let's just say that I definitely haven't defeated Xion and I definitely haven't defeated Xehanort. So I most definitely haven't defeated the secret boss, which we're just going to go ahead and get um, like come out here and just like say that I have not defeated Yozora. We all know that the secret boss is Yozora. We all knew that the secret boss was Yozora before the freaking Remind DLC came out because let's just be honest with ourselves, guys. The secret boss was obviously going to be Yozora after that trailer came out. They fucking spoiled us. I was disappointed in the fact that they spoiled us. That inkling of Yozora could have been left out from that trailer, but I'm getting off of a tangent, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But that little rant, I will get to that whenever it comes to it when i actually finish defeating like finishing limit cut i'm sorry i haven't finished limit cut yet i got a lot of shit going on but not only that i procrastinate a lot so it's just like that's pretty much on me um other than that let's just forget about the fact that i haven't finished limit cut yet and i don't really even know what exactly happened to the true ending um, at the very end but what I do know however that seems to be tied with what we got going on in um, this little tidbit that we saw here is that Kyrie who is what we know from the very beginning of limit cut was put to sleep because they're trying to research her memories that is connected to Sora's and so on and so forth just trying to research her heart and yada 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 
Kingdom Hearts nonsense, all that bullshit, and I tried to find, figure out a way to find Sora. So, my speculation here is that what we just saw is the very thing that they're doing right now to Kyrie, which is looking into her heart and possibly possibly delving within the, her memories and trying to find a link to Sora because it would make sense due to the fact that we sort of actually just relived a piece of Kyrie's memories where they showed off the bit where Kyrie, who was running away from Heartless, uh, that was what we saw. That was Kyrie's perspective, and it was in black and white. So that was essentially a ver that was a memory in and of itself. And then after that, we cut to a part where Kyrie, making her way to the world where, um, or um, let let me see here, uh, new world or final world? Yeah, final world. Let's just say final world. Even though technically speaking, I think the world is actually supposed to be called the world where sky and land meet or something of that nature i completely forgot right now my mind is not working because i'm supposed to be going to sleep at this time but forget about that so it's just like <clears throat> she meets master of masters that is very interesting but not only that, she even freaking go, go get her, go get her, freaking pull, key, key chain pulled out, ready to freaking put some hands, she is out here, if this game, whatever this game may be, Though in the long run, it may not actually be a game that we get to play Ky as Kyrie. It may be a game that's focused a bit on Kyrie, and that's about it. But I'm still waiting for that game tomorrow. I'm still waiting for that game that be focusing on Kyrie. We still, we're still waiting for that. But if we get to this game soon enough. All in all, apparently this game is going to be coming out in 2020, which is good. There may be some other games that might be coming out. We don't really know. But for right now, we know that Dark Road, as well as Mel uh, Melodies of Memory, oh, Melody of Memories. I don't know why in the word I keep on freaking getting these words and freaking mixed up, man. But um, other than that, we got the two games that we are aware of. And I, if I remember correctly, that there's still an extra project still out there that we don't know of. I need to look into that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts and all that other nonsense. And I'm sorry for the fact that I still haven't freaking finished Kingdom Hearts, Limit, oh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Remind, Limit, limit Break, Limit Chain, Limit, cut all that other nonsense doesn't even matter how long this name or title is supposed to be just know that i will be getting to it soon enough whenever it comes to it but right now i still need to focus on final fantasy 7 remake ah what in the world is going on with this year Anyway, you guys have a very nice day, nice night, nice morning, nice afternoon, all of that good nonsense, and I shall catch you in the next one. Peace out.